Hey guys, good morning. It is like six o'clock in the morning and I'm working on my guitar already. As you can see, I have exchanged or replaced my tuning machines with uh, Klusen vintage locking tuners on my Les Paul 1959 Epiphone 1959. <laughs> and they are working pretty, they're working great actually. I'm just taking off my last uh, vintage uh, <laughs> tuning machine there. And I have them all ready here. Now these guys, what I'm using is the Klusen Vintage Revolution 3x3 tuning machine, locking tuning machines with no collar. The first one I got had a collar and it did not fit here. So if you guys have a Epiphone Les Paul 1959 that you guys want to go ahead and replace the tuning machines with locking tuners, these will work. Again, this is the Klusen Revolution 3x3 locking tuners with no collar. So I'll show you guys when it's all done. Okay, so. All tuners have been uh, replaced with locking tuners by Klusen. Looks good. So again, this is the uh, Epiphone 1959 Les Paul. Just replaced the tuners with locking tuners. Why? Because I got spoiled with my Les Paul Modern that came with locking tuners and it was such a breeze changing strings and I wanted the same thing for this guitar. So let's go ahead and tune it up. Well, all right, that was the weekend project, was uh, putting on those locking tuners on my guitar. Now it's time for the weekday project. It is Monday, early Monday morning. I am back here at my favorite place at Lowe's Hardware Store. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, I need to make like a like a like a bracket for my existing guitar uh, holder or stand. I need something wider to hold um, the the guitar case so let's go find it all right so check this out so i got these two brackets right and i'm gonna add this third piece so this is all gonna go uh, on my guitar, um, on my guitar stand, because I need something this wide, or maybe even wider, to help support the guitar case. So the guitar case neck is going to go between those two brackets there. And how am I going to connect all these? Is by I'm going to go ahead and connect it with two screws, and the rest are going to be with zip ties. Nothing too serious. And how am I going to connect? this finished thing right here to the guitar stand again maybe just by zip ties I don't know I'm gonna try to find something that can actually brace it together but uh I think I found what I'm looking for now it's just time to get some screws and I also got these guys for hardware screws bolts and washers just to hold it all together so i found it so i'm gonna go ahead and build these guys tonight hopefully it's gonna work i hope
I just got back home and I'm gonna be working on the bracket now. So let me show you guys, show you guys what I have so far. All right, so those three pieces became one piece, All right? So it's gonna go on the guitar stand like that. So it's gonna go like this or like this, whatever, what is gonna hold the neck of the case in place like that. All right, so that's my goal with this whole thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. All right, so that's how it looks like. All right, so now I'm gonna put the guitar case on it. And they also zip tied this thing so it doesn't rotate anymore because this thing rotates too much, it swings, and it'll just uh, let the guitar case fall. So here's the finished product. It looks like this. I'm gonna put the guitar on it now. Yep, all right. So there you go. Now my guitar case won't fall off. And then we'll add something here to connect here, to go around here and connect here so this doesn't topple over like that but it's pretty stable at the moment so yeah weekday project is done successful i can say all right anyway guys that's just something really simple for now i can't find anything on amazon that actually fits a guitar case so i had to make my own I know it looks really crappy, but it works, you know, it works. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. So I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.